everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today we are going to be doing an empties video. Oh, I did not think this through. Oh, as you can see here, I have been collecting my beauty and lifestyle trash for the past three months. I believe the last time I did this video was in uh, the beginning of November. So it has been a solid three months. And I really enjoy doing these videos because it allows me to sit down and go through everything that I've literally went through and provide more of a thorough review because I've actually used the entire thing. So I'm not basing this off of like a first impression or something that I've used twice because I've literally used the entire thing up, whether that's a candle, cause I love candles or, you know, a skincare product or a makeup product, all that kind of stuff um, you will find in today's video. And yeah, pretty self-explanatory. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Leave me a comment down below if you do like these kinds of videos because I do make it a point to do these regularly. So yeah, without further ado, if you wanna see everything that I've went through over the past three months, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so... Yeah, I hope we can get through all of these, but if we don't, then I'll just pick up the most important things. A lot of these products are going to look weird because they're used up, so they might look icky. You get it. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. This um, is a really nice cleansing oil. It's very affordable. You can get this at Target. And I really liked it because they had good ingredients. It um, has no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates, but it does have grapeseed, jojoba, rosehip oils, and vitamin C. This is a really nice cleansing oil. Um, I really enjoyed it. I used it every day pretty much for the past, um, I got this, I believe, in April of last year. So it's lasted me several months. All I do is just pump one pump into my dry hands when I get into the shower, rub off my makeup before I go in and rinse it off and use an actual cleanser. I really like doing a double cleanser like that. And if I'm not using a makeup wipe, I'm using this, which is most of the time. Speaking of makeup wipes, I have the Sensitive Skin Cleansing Wipes. These are literally a dollar from the dollar store and it has no parabens, no harsh chemicals, no alcohol or dyes, and it's infused with vitamin E. I've spoken about these before in past empties videos. I really like these and the Walmart brand makeup wipes. I like really inexpensive makeup wipes because I feel like why spend so much on something where you can literally pay a dollar and get the same results? This removes my makeup really well well it's a thick large cloth so one cloth really does a good job of taking away all of my makeup and the ingredients don't break me out they don't irritate my skin so would I repurchase these yes I would I just currently have four of the Walmart brand wipes I'm using right now so once I go through those I will repurchase these maybe and um, they're great honestly a dollar at the Dollar Tree you cannot go wrong they don't irritate my skin so this is an A plus I have quite a few Bath and Body Works products to share with you I'm just gonna go through these two hand soaps. Um, these were like my fall hand soaps. I use this in my bathroom and this is my kitchen. This is the afternoon apple picking gentle exfoliating hand soap. I loved this scent so much. It was very fresh and I love the way that it was very um, clean and crisp to use like in my kitchen. I'm just weird with that kind of thing. I really enjoyed it. Um, I do Bath and Body Works videos like once every season. I do a haul typically so I will link those down below if you want to see everything that I've hauled from there including these. And I also loved the coconut pumpkin latte. This smells like a coconut pumpkin latte. It's very warm, it's very comforting, it's very nourishing, and the formula itself is very nice. The notes in this are coconut cream, whipped pumpkin, and warm praline, and it has pumpkin butter. So to me, all of those notes are very delicious, and I really enjoyed these. And would I repurchase? Yes, I love these hand soaps. They're pretty much the only hand soaps I buy right now um, because I love the scents, I love the packaging, and they leave my hands it's feeling really soft. I went through this almond, well, I mean, it's kind of dripping here, but it's only because it's been sitting like this. This is the almond and vanilla um, shower gel with natural almond oil from Bath and Body Works. This smells so nice. It, I mean, it literally smells like almond and vanilla, and I would use this a lot as a bubble bath. I really enjoyed it because the scent was kind of, it was therapeutic enough for me to bathe in, and the notes in this are vanilla absolute, white orchid, and natural almond oil. I love these shower gels. They're the only shower gels I use. Pretty much a lot of my bath products are from Bath and Body Works just because they have such a good variety of scents. The ingredients don't dry out my skin and I really enjoy the experience whenever I use them, as weird as that might sound. But yes, I highly recommend this if you're looking for something on the warmer side. 
I also went through the Vanilla Bean Noel body cream. I'm currently using the hand cream here. I love the scent. I don't have the candle, surprisingly, because I thought maybe the body products were enough for me. I really like the scent. It's a great seasonal Christmas scent. I know we're past that, which is why I'm showing you the stuff that I went through for the fall and winter time. This smells really, really nice. It truly smells like vanilla and marshmallow and that yumminess. It's really great and I recommend it. It's just, it's delicious, honestly. Okay, and while we're on Bath & Body Works products, let's just go through the candles that I went through because I do kind of like coming full circle after I do my hauls and show you what I went through and what I truly feel about them. I have gone through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles, um, and these are all pretty much fall candles. So this one up top is Sweater Weather. This is really, really nice. I really enjoy this candle. It truly reminds me of just a crisp, cloudy, overcast day, as weird as that might sound. Um, the notes are very fresh. Wow, that just brought me right back. It's so weird, but also very nice how scents can just bring you back. That's one of my favorite things about candles and about scented things. They're kind of like memories in a jar. Um, this is really, really nice, very fresh. The autumn candle is similar. It has more of an apple note as opposed to a eucalyptus-y note like this, but they're both very fresh candles and I enjoyed them a lot. This is the pumpkin peanut brittle. The throw in this is unbelievable. It is so powerful. If you're not into a super strong candle, you will not like this, but this truly smells like pumpkin peanut brittle. And it's funny because it reminds me when I smell this candle, it reminds me of the time where my shower wouldn't turn off. So I had to call a plumber and it was incredibly expensive because I didn't know my apartment offered free maintenance. So I was stupid and I called a plumber and my shower was just running for like an hour because the cartridge thing broke and this was a candle that was burnt anyway. You get it. This just reminds me of that, but it's a great scent nonetheless. Um, this is the winter candle. My friend actually bought this for me for Secret Santa, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, and I actually just recently finished burning it. Like, it truly reminds me of a winter day. It has that fresh kind of orange clementine pine needle note with a little bit of clove for that warmth. It's really nice. Marshmallow Fireside, man, this is a candle that is a cult favorite. I am sure that if you've watched a Bath & Body Works video, at least one person has mentioned this candle because this is truly an amazing candle. It truly smells like marshmallows roasting over a fire pit. And it's very cozy, very relaxing, very comforting. It's great. I also really enjoy the blueberry maple pancakes. It wasn't my absolute favorite. Gotta be honest, I bought it because my dog's name is Maple and blueberry. But this smells really nice. It well, my downstairs neighbors are gonna be pissed because that candle just fell and they complained that I walked really loud, so another little thumb for them really nice it's very sweet so if you're not into sweet scents i would not recommend this candle but if you're into like that fruity warm kind of vibe then you might really like this and then last but not least for candles i think this is the sugared snickerdoodle this is the one i just finished like two nights ago this is probably one of my all-time favorite scents it's a new scent for me i just purchased this like this past season i hadn't purchased it any year prior but this throw is unbelievable. It's kind of like the same amount of power as the pumpkin peanut brittle. The throw is like a 10 out of 10, but the scent is very light and warm and truly reminiscent of fresh baked cookies. It's delicious. The notes in this are warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. This is like one of my favorite things ever. Like it instantly puts me in a good mood. It's so relaxing, so comforting. I highly recommend picking this up if you ever see it again. It's so good. This is the fall uh, Bath & Body Works cream I went through. This is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It smells amazing. It truly smells like a Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It's sweeter than this one. So if you're deciding between the two, but you still want something in the warm family that's not as sweet, I would go with Vanilla Bean Noel. But nonetheless, if you're looking for a really nice, like warm fall scent, this is it. We are going into spring, but just saying, um, I know some people don't care about the seasonal picks, but um, you just want like specific notes. And if you're into marshmallow and pumpkin and warmth and just like coziness, this is, this is a really nice one. Oh, I lied, I have one more candle, I'm so sorry. This is the um, vanilla spiced pear um, candle. And this isn't my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. 
I enjoyed it at first, but it's very hard to describe. My best friend actually got this for me for my birthday, not this past year, but the year before. So I've had this for quite some time. Um, it's really, really nice. It's just not my absolute favorite personally, but I know a lot of people who do really like this candle. This is the Batiste dry shampoo. Um, this is the classic scent. I really do like this dry shampoo. It does help with my oils. Um, but it does leave a white cast so you really are gonna have to be conscious of that And if you have dark hair like me, you're gonna have to really rub that in Otherwise people will notice it like for example my co-worker sometimes would be like you have white stuff in your hair And I'd be like, oh, oops But another thing is is that I'm not sure if Batiste is cruelty free I have read mixed things it claims it's cruelty free on the bottle the website, but I've heard that that's kind of ambiguous and I'm not really quite sure. So if you have any like clear insight, please share that with me down below because obviously I really do my best to just buy cruelty free stuff. 99% of what I own in my collection is cruelty free. Um, aside from the stuff that I purchased before I was cruelty free that I just don't really use anymore. But yes, definitely let me know down below if you have any insight on that, I would really appreciate it. It wouldn't be a video if Mabel wasn't in it. To make her a little appearance. Next up, we have a deodorant. This is the native deodorant. It's paraben free, aluminum free in the shade, the shade, in the scent coconut vanilla. Um, I really did like this deodorant. One thing though is that it's not glidey, if that makes sense. Like when you rub it on your armpits, it doesn't have like a smooth gliding feeling. It kind of tugs a little bit if that makes sense i don't know if that makes any sense at all the texture isn't slippy so some people might really enjoy that some people might not it does get on your clothes if you get dressed right away but most deodorants do um and this is really nice i bought it because of the ingredients it has no aluminum it's just an all natural deodorant which is the kind of deodorant i use i personally don't like to use deodorant with aluminum well let me rephrase i don't like to use antiperspirants i only like to use deodorants and the difference is that antiperspirants have the aluminum which will actually stop you from sweating like it'll block your glands from producing sweat and deodorant is just something that will allow you to sweat but it just won't make you smell bad if that makes sense and i don't use antiperspirant i bought this online native deodorant is a brand that i believe is e-commerce only and it is kind of expensive for deodorant it's like 12 dollars for deodorant which i think is kind of expensive for a standard size deodorant so that's why i didn't repurchase um right now i'm currently using toms it's like three or four bucks i feel like it's doing the same amount of work in terms of allowing me not to smell bad so for that reason i haven't repurchased this but in the future maybe who knows I went through two Mario Badescu sprays. This one is the Aloe Chamomile and Lavender. I go through these quite often because I do like to mist my face with this. I used to go through these a lot faster than I currently do now because I used to use this twice a day. Now I only use it in the morning, but this is a really nice brand. Mario Badescu is now sold at Sephora. So if you're more of a Sephora shopper than an Ulta shopper, you can now buy it there and the price is the same. It's $12 for an eight fluid ounce bottle, which in my opinion is very reasonable. And I also went through these small travel Size. This is one that I love to just pack in my purse. This is the original aloe herbs and rose water scent. I'm currently using the aloe cucumber and green tea scent in this small package um, that I use to bring with me on the go in my purse. But these are really, really nice. They're very rejuvenating and they're amazing to spray like first thing in the morning or if you want to pick me up throughout the day. Perfect. I went through a Morphe continuous setting mist. I'm currently on my third bottle of this stuff. It's a continuous aerosol mist so that it gets every angle of your face. I use it to set my face today. It was looking, believe it or not, a little bit too matte for my liking, even though I do have oily skin. So I love using this if I'm going out, if I'm not going to be sweating excessively because it doesn't do anything to mattify. It just truly just sets your face and allows all the powders to sink into your skin and look even and smooth and beautiful. So for that reason, Reason, I really do like this and I will continue to purchase them after I run out. I have two nail products to share with you. This is the Ulta Beauty Ace Tone Nail Polish Remover. This is amazing. It's $3. It's 100% pure acetone, acetone, and I personally like using 100% acetone to remove my nail polish because it just gets the job done real quick. And then I use this nail buffer. This is one that I went through. I mean, I went through in the sense that you can see it's kind of like dying, so it doesn't do a good job of filing my nails anymore, but I use the same one. I just repurchased another one, and I love it because I do my nails every week, as you guys may or may not notice. I have pretty much a different nail color on every video because I just love doing my nails and um, this does a really good job of filing your nails. It has lots of different things to um, really just 
shape your nails, smooth your nails, etc. And you can get this at Ulta as well. I went through the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This is a really nice foundation if you have oily skin. This is in the shade Medium Neutral. It claims it's 12 hour makeup, oil free. It's a little bit more of a thick, moussey formula. So for that reason, I didn't use it with a beauty blender. I only used it with a brush. I just feel like it blended the best that way. I really did enjoy this. What I repurchase? Yes, maybe in the future. I just have a lot of foundations. I ordered another foundation that's coming in. So maybe in the future. I like that it has SPF 15 and it's a physical sunscreen. I went through an e.l.f. instant brow lift brow pencil in the shade deep brown. I'm currently wearing the shade neutral brown on my brows right now. This is my favorite brow pencil. It's $2. It's very creamy, very easy to apply. And if you're a novice at doing your brows, I would recommend this because it's a very forgiving formula. It allows you to buff out the color really easily and correct any mistakes you may have made. I also went through the NYX micro brow pencil. This is also really nice. The tip is a little bit skinnier. So if you're into a more fine brow strokes, you might like this. I went through the Koki volume and length mascara. This is a decent mascara. It's just, it's on the drier side. So if you're not into that, then you won't like this. This is my second time purchasing it. And I always see so many YouTubers rave about it. So I purchased it again because I was like, oh, I want to have that experience. But I wasn't wowed the first time I bought it. And I wasn't wowed this time around. I don't necessarily recommend it. I think you can get essence mascaras for cheaper this was i believe seven or eight dollars you can get essence mascaras for three or four dollars and in my opinion they're better this is the catrice liquid camouflage concealer in the shade light beige would i repurchase yes i already did that's actually going to be arriving at my doorstep today this is one of my favorite all-time concealers especially for concealing your under eye it's very full coverage very liquidy very easy to blend and affordable I went through the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Primer. This is a decent primer. It's just like the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, but um, cheaper, obviously. So if you want a dupe, it's just kind of like that silicone-y smooth out primer. Not great, but not terrible. It's just a good kind of smoothing primer. I went through the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I've had this powder for years. I finally finished it not too long ago because I stopped using it for a while. I've read that there are bad ingredients, not bad ingredients, but there are parabens and other ingredients in this powder that I prefer not to put on my face. And personally, I have found there to be better powder since then. I know this is highly raved about, which is why I purchased it initially. But in my opinion, I think there are better powders on the market with better ingredients and that are cheaper. I also went through this ColourPop concealer in the shade medium 30. This is a really nice concealer. It's affordable. The only thing is, is that it does darken after you put it on, but it darkens immediately. So um, I would suggest if you're buying a shade, buy like one or two shades lighter than you think you would be because it'll probably darken to that correct shade. I also went through this Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This is just a bar soap with a little pad thing. Um, would I repurchase? I would, yes. This is actually a repurchased um, thing, but I actually just purchased the Ulta version because it was $6 cheaper. This is $16, and to me, it's great. It's like the best thing to clean your sponges and your brushes. To me, it's better than the liquid version, but what I, I don't know if it's worth it yet for like just a plain little small bar of soap. So I did purchase a cheaper alternative. I will use that and then maybe let you know how I feel if this was better or not. Last but not least, I have a couple lifestyle things I want to share with you. I'm sorry this video was so long, but I want to share with you this. This is Zycam and you might think this is the weirdest thing ever to be talking about, but this is a homeopathic thing. This is one of those tablets that you put in your mouth and it dissolves. It doesn't taste terrible, so rest assured. It's not awful. Um, it claims it shortens cold and I do agree. This is miracle for me personally. And I've actually put a couple of my friends on it and they agree as well. Whenever I feel like kind of a sore throat coming on or if I feel a little bit stuffy, I will take this when I first feel symptoms of a cold and it honestly just gets rid of them. It's a miracle. I don't know how it does it, but I think it might be the high vitamin C content. This really truly does work. Or if I'm in the middle of a cold, I'll take this and it helps me. I have two dog things I wanna talk about. This is the Nature's Miracle Deodor, blah, blah, blah. Deodorize, Deo, yeah, I'm saying that right. Deodorizing bath wipes. These are just wipes that I used on maple um, after walks and stuff like that. They do a really good job, but the packaging is just very frustrating because it has this little like thingy thing and sometimes it wouldn't close. I don't know, but they're very affordable on Amazon. 
on Amazon. And then I went through these Stella and Chewy's freeze dried raw coated biscuits. These are the beef recipe. She loves these. Um, they're little biscuits. Stella and Chewy's is a great brand. So I wanted to shout these out and just share with you everything. Like you can see that my empties videos are truly encompassing of everything in my life. Dog stuff, bath stuff, candles, makeup, skincare, everything. It's all here. Last but not least, let's talk about this bad boy. This is the Ecos Plus plant powered uh, laundry detergent. This is so random, but honestly, um, I do try to make an effort to use most of my household items as well, cruelty free and natural. And this is actually a really good detergent. I got it at Sam's Club. It's plant powered, it's gentle, it's earth friendly, it's hypoallergenic, it's dermatologist tested, and it smells really nice. It's clear, so if you're looking for a good natural uh, detergent, because everybody needs to wash their clothes, right? This is a good one. All right, everyone, and that is it for this hour-long video. I hope you enjoyed me going through my beauty trash, my lifestyle trash, my dog trash. Let me know down below if you've gone through something that you've really, really loved. Share that with us, because I'm sure we'd all love to know. Perfect timing, the Worthers is here. Come here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you just think Maple's cute. I totally get it. If you don't like me, you just like her. I get it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.